ESG requirements are a growing topic among oil and gas producers. One step you can take to support these goals is to eliminate natural gas emissions from your pressure reducing regulators. You can achieve non-vent operation by purchasing our non-vent regulators or by converting your existing regulators with a few simple parts. You may also want to do this if you're using the regulator inside a building or for other safety concerns. In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly and easily convert a pressure reducing regulator to non-vent. To order the parts you'll need or speak with an expert about this process, contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor. We're in a controlled environment, but if you're doing this in line, you'll need to isolate and depressurize the valve first. First, unthread the adjustment bolt to relieve the spring pressure. Make a mark down the regulator to help realign the components during assembly. Then loosen all the tubing connections. Remove the bonnet bolts with a 916 wrench, then take off the bonnet, spring, spring plates, and spacer ring. Remove the pilot housing and inspect the diaphragm for damage. If it's damaged, it will need to be replaced. Use a 916 socket to remove the bolts from the upper housing, then remove the tubing and upper housing. Inspect the diaphragm for damage. Remove the lower housing and properly discard the oil. Put the diaphragm plate into the vise and use a 916 wrench to remove the nut. Remove the ratio plug and seat. Inspect them for damage and replace them if needed. Next, check the gasket for damage and then remove the lower housing. Remove the spring and set this aside. This will be an extra part for this conversion. Reassemble the lower housing, seat, ratio plug, and nut. Also apply new grease to the gasket. Place the pilot housing upside down in the vise on the diaphragm plate. Use a socket wrench to remove the pilot seat. Inspect the diaphragm and replace it if necessary. Use channel locks to remove the diaphragm nut from the diaphragm plate. Remove and inspect the diaphragm and replace it if necessary. Set the diaphragm plate aside. It will be an extra piece. Put the new diaphragm plate in the vise. and hand thread on the diaphragm nut. Place the spacer ring around the diaphragm to know how much to tighten it. If it is too tight, the diaphragm will be distorted and not fit correctly. Then tighten the diaphragm nut with channel locks. Replace the pilot housing and tighten the pilot seat and diaphragm in place. Again, be careful not to over tighten. Put the body back in the vise and put the upper housing back on the body. Be sure to align your marks. Fill the housing oil bowl with a low gravity oil, enough to cover the communication hole. Place the diaphragm on top, bevel side facing up. Replace the lower housing, aligning with your marks. Only hand tighten the bolts at this point so that it's easier to replace the tubing later. 
Use a 9 16th socket to remove the pilot seat. Inspect the gasket for damage. Use a pick to remove the pilot spring and set it aside. This will also be an extra piece. Put in the new pilot plug spring. Hold the pilot plug assembly by the ball of the pilot plug to keep it together while you thread on the assembly by hand. Then fully tighten it with a socket wrench. Verify that the pilot plug can move freely before continuing. Install the pilot housing assembly back onto the upper housing, making sure the diaphragm isn't pinched or off-center. Place the spacer ring around the diaphragm and align it with the bolt holes. Replace the lower spring plate, spring, and upper spring plate. Align the bonnet with your markings and hand tighten the bolts. Reassemble all the tubing and then fully tighten all the bolts in a crisscross pattern. and then tighten the tubing connectors. Lastly, tighten your adjustment bolt on top for your desired set point. Now your pressure reducing regulator is non-venting. To speak with an expert about how Kimray can help you meet your ESG commitments, contact your local Kimray store or distributor.